Oh, Han Ping students, may I editorialize a little bit while I'm lighting incense to record this second session, which is pretty much like the first session. But, uh, it's all incremental. All incremental. It's like stringing beads, step by step. It says in the Tao Te Ching, which so famously refers to a journey of 10,000 leagues, it starts with a single step. So that's what we do. And, and may I also say how happy I am that, uh, that people, are, people are taking this class because the Quan Ping form is a treasure. And uh, this is the first time I've shared it with anybody. Let's do a few postures here that come up. Uh, I think I'll put on my glasses a little bit. Uh, no. Maybe I didn't bring them with me. I guess they're there. Wanted to make this a private video so that it wasn't public, but uh, where everybody can see it. But I, then after I did that, I couldn't find it. <laughs> on my YouTube channel. So, playing the lute, like this. 99 and 9 tenths percent of the weight is in the rear leg. It doesn't make any difference which side you go to. Here, my left hand is high and my right hand is low. And here, my right hand is high and left hand is low, of course. And this, empty, 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 toe in the air. When we come out of that posture, we take just a tiny step, lower the upper hand to the Dantian, and raise the upper hand. And then we return to the position. So it looks like step, step. And here, all my weights in my rear bending leg and just lightly touching here. I call this crane touches the water. And then back. And if I do it to the other side, same thing. And as I perfect my form over hopefully many years, I'm coordinating the movement of my arm going up with the movement of my toe going back. Same thing here. So you said that when I have all my weight now or 99% of my weight in my rear bending leg, and I have this nice line here, then I'm coordinating and the same thing here. My hands and my weight are following each other. And the front looks like this. Step back, I can clearly see my feet. So I'm here, step, and return. And then in the form, we go to the other side. Step, and return. What else do I want to review here? 
really in the Quan Ping style, we want to feel this line. You do the same thing in all Tai Chi styles. You're feeling your, your uh, perpendicular line and your vertical line, and they cross right here, two fingers below the navel in the Dan Tian. And this is your balance point. It's your balance point. And it is the center from which we want the arms to move. Let me see, what else do I want to review here? I'm thinking for a moment. Just to be clear, oh, this is single whip and my weight is in my rear leg. You see this line like that, right? In the Yang style, single whip looks like this and it's 80-20, something like that. In the Quan Ping style, it's like this, 90-10 or even 95-10. We cultivate this line, nice line here. and make this straight. This sometimes you have shoulder issues. Uh, or here. Notice my stance here. See. When I move into the forward position, padding with the palm like that. It is if I pivot my forward foot and I'm pouring my weight like that. So there's a few elements here. Weight forward, maybe 10% back here, 20%. Pivot, step through, push. Now, when we're practicing in the beginning, if we're practicing into the screen, because it's one way to practice, you know, I've altered in this, like, when we're doing the way the form usually goes, what I call horizontal when we're learning on Zoom, fist to the hip, touch with the heel, pour the weight to the front, yield to the rear, pivot, step through, Push, turn. Or turn. Then top chair. Push. Turn. Then touch. Finger to rest, walk, walk. Left leg, walk. Here, now, I'm like almost 50-50, but you don't want to ever be 50-50 in Tai Chi. That's a static position. So I'm like, right now I'm like 60-40 or 70-30 here. Right here. So I'm feeling this in the Dantian. And in that way, I can pour the weight as I palm forward, more palm backward, and reverse weight. My backhand is palm up at my hip. My backhand is palm up at my hip. And the front looks like this.
four, four, Plant fly and here, and that's where this plain loop comes in. And raise hand and step. So you find all of these names on your on the choreography sheet that I sent to you. And names are a good mnemonic device to help to internalize the practice. Okay, I'm not going to do the into the camera. Go right into. And I take stock. How do I? How am I feeling internally? Tall at the top of the head. Breath in the Dantian. Shoulders relaxed. Chin tucked in slightly. Face relaxed. One of my instructors talked about the Tai Chi face having the smile of Buddha. That is the smile which is not a smile. Well, that's the relaxed face. It's also called the smile of Mona Lisa. Okay, pour my weight slightly into my left leg, raising both arms, pivoting right foot. Left leg forward, toe in the air, stick hands cross. Right hand behind left. Stepping back and slightly to the left, patting down this way. Right hand, palm down, left hand, palm up. Slight turn to the waist so that you're up on an angle and push, moving very slow. Pouring the weight into the left leg, pivoting on right foot so that you don't tweak your knee at all. And here. Pivot left foot because it's weightless. Stepping forward to pat. Stepping backward and slightly to the right. Elbow move. Pat to your right. Step back. Pat to your left. Step back to the right. Step back to the left. My left leg is back. My right leg is forward. Pivot my right foot on weightless and step forward and strike this through the palm. Open palms, yield, pivot, push, turn. One, two, left leg forward. Still 80% to the rear, 90. Pat, pat. Step back, right hand palm up, left palm forward. Step back, right palm forward, left palm at the hip. Plant fly. My own name for this is Eagle Flies Over the Canyon. And then plain loop. And step and raise and backwards. Now, 180 degrees, same move, pat left and raise right. Step right foot. And come back and play the loop. And like you're holding a big basket here, swing the arms and this. We didn't even do that move in the class. So this is extra, 
added value. Right leg forward, just the toe lightly touching surface. And right leg back, continuing the move. You don't want to have any stop action moves here. Everything is smooth, flowing, effortless. You can even push this way, pivot right foot, because it's weightless, no weight. Step through, strike, 90% of the weight forward, 80 back, or 10 back, or 80, 20, something like that. You'll feel it. And push, turn. Step into right leg, right arm up, left palm forward like this. All my weights in my right leg, 90%. So I'm gonna turn here, you see, and I don't wanna turn on a weighted foot, but that's next. I always get, I always go too far. <laughs> uh, stop me, stop me, stop. Weight to the left, pivot right. Buddha strikes. Pat, turn, push. Stepping forward, crane touches the water with the right foot, just lightly. And back. Some of these names are my own iterations to when you create a picture. You might have a good picture in your head. Mind. Your creative mind. Your ye. Then you push. Push, turn, and step, right foot, left foot, and strike in the middle. One, two, three. One, two, left leg back. Little step onto right bending leg, all the way. So 
It's a nice line here. One more time. How anybody's watching this and says, oh, that's not the way it goes. It would be my, not my teacher's mistake, my mistake for altering, not remembering correctly, but I feel like I'm pretty accurate here. I have a lot of confidence. Right leg moving into the crane position. Stepping back into the right, elbow, heel, right. All the joints are have WD-40 in them. They're all well-oiled, smooth, effortless. Like branches of a tree waving, a willow tree maybe. Waving in the breeze. Strike, yield, step through, right leg, push, turn, and one, two, strike, pat, pat, push, push. back, 99% of my weight's there, slant flying position, play one, step and raise on, step back, turn, pat left, up right, step, raise left, right comes down by the donkey, and right is up, left is down. When we finish, do this. Men do right hand over left, women do left hand over right. Let's pause for a second and feel. Sense your flux of your chi. The fruit of your practice. Okay. Lesson two. 